Today we got the new Acheron trailer, Myriad Celestia trailer, Kyodin A Cleave Across the Transient World. And this trailer had many Hunkai Impact third references. So being the Hunkai series lover I am, I thought I should make a video explaining all the Hunkai Impact references in it for those who didn't play Hunkai Impact 3rd. And I would love to hear your opinion about the references in the comments section below. Now before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like and share to support the channel. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So first of all, they had May and Kevin voice actors voicing this trailer. So that it would feel as a send back to the point when May became Harsher of Thunder to save Kiana with Kevin's help and then she joined him. So this is the first similarity or the first reference. They made sure that these two specific people are going to voice this trailer for that specific reason. Because Acheron is Harsher of Thunder May or at least an alternative Harsher of Thunder May in Hunkai Star Rail and therefore they made sure that the most important character or maybe it could be Elysia the most important character but without Kevin she would have never met Elysia so I think that Kevin is the most important character in her character development there would be basically together with her and that is a really amazing reference from them. Now the second reference is the fact that they had 12 harshers exactly the same amount as Hunkai Impact 3rd and uh, basically these harshers are as follows. First we have Truth in Hunkai Star Rail and in Hunkai Impact 3rd it could be Harsher of Reason or Harsher of Truth. Both of them are the exact same harsher uh, but the difference is the fact that Harsher of Truth is a maxed power harsher of reason you ascended the core to the, to the next level by doing that and that's when you get basically harsher of truth so this is the first uh, harsher that they talk about the second harsher is sky which is pretty much harsher of void and uh, this this harsher basically appeared twice in hunkai impact third uh, the first time was uh, when uh, Serene awakened that harsher and then the second time was basically in Kiana. Uh, and uh, she is the most badass harsher we have in Hunkai Impact 3rd because of how amazing she looked and because of how amazing they made her and her trailer as well. Now the third one was Howl and uh, this one is basically Harsher of Thunder. And Harsher of Thunder is pretty much Acheron. Harsher of Thunder May. <laughs> Anyways, Mist is the fourth one. And that is Harsher of the Wind. Uh, Frost is the fifth one, which is Harsher of Ice. Fate is the sixth one, which is Harsher of Death or Rebirth in this case. Because in Hunkai Impact 3rd, uh, in the previous era it was called Harsher of Death. But in the current era, uh, it it has been renamed to Harsher of Rebirth because Vita thought that Sele doesn't represent anything that has to do with death and therefore Harsher of Death doesn't seem like a cool name for her and therefore she decided to call her Harsher of Rebirth instead. And yes, the developers went with that. <laughs> the seventh one is Flare, which is basically Harsher of Fire. This is one of the Harshers that uh, we didn't get as good look at uh, in Honkai Impact 3rd because of the fact that it didn't appear in the current era, uh, except for the fact that we had its core and it, it was used by Himiko in a battle suit and then it was used also by Kiana uh, when she became basically Harsher of Flamesian. But outside of that, we didn't get an actual Harsher of Fire unfortunately in the current era then we have the eighth one which is thought uh, which is basically harsher of sentience that is the most amazing harsher in the world harsher of sentience fuhua and senti they are two different people but they are the same person at the same time her story is a little bit it's a, li a little bit complex because this time instead of making a character a harsher they made a harsher a character she was the only the first and only harsher to become a character instead of the character becoming the harsher. And that's why her story is a little bit complex. You will need to go through it instead. And I really don't want to spoil the story for you. I have spoiled enough right now. <laughs> so 
<laughs> I won't talk anymore about it, but um, she is Senti. She is one of the most liked uh, characters, actually, or harshers in the game by the community. The ninth one is Root, which is basically harsher of Earth. Uh, and the, f the tenth one is Form, which is harsher of Domination. The eleventh one is Bind, which is harsher of Binding. And this one we got a little bit of a look at uh, with uh, Otto, but outside of that we didn't really get an actual harsher of Binding. He became just a false god and a false harsher of Binding. And therefore... We didn't really get a look at, at him directly or at, at the harsher itself directly, but we got a look at a false version of it. Now the, the 12th one is Mao, which is harsher of corruption, which is the one that uh, basically appeared in Elysia's story. So if you follow the Elysia's story, you should know about it. Now these are the 12th harshers, right? However, after the swords, these 12 swords were broken, they forged two more swords. And these two swords were a direct hint at two characters specifically. The first one was Origin, and it had the exact same name as the Harsher, Harsher of Origin Elysia. Uh, you could say also Harsher of Origin May, but I believe that it is Harsher of Origin Elysia because the original origin was Elysia. She was born as a Harsher. She wasn't basically awakened inside a, a human body. She was born as a Harsher. She was the origin of all Harshers, and she was the very first Harsher to be able to cut its tie. Uh, to the uh, to the cocoon of finality and do whatever she wants not whatever the cocoon of finality wants which we are going to talk about as well later on however uh, sh that's why i think that elysia is actually the harsher of origin not the may however you could also say may because may did take actually on her legacy and became the next harsher of origin so this is the harsher of origin and then we got the second sword which was end and that is harsher of end or harsher of finality uh, it it used to be called harsher of the end until we got it in the current era and that's when they decided to rename it just like how they renamed the harsher of death uh, they renamed this harsher as well and they called it basically harsher of finality instead uh, however, it is pretty much the same thing and these two were left alone because of the fact that they are basically the origin and the finality of the Honkai story. There is the origin where everything started which was basically Elysia, the very first Harsher who was born and then we have the finality where everything ends which is basically the Harsher of finality of each era. So these are uh, the references to all of the harshers that we got in Honkai Star Rail in the in Acheron's trailer. Now the next reference is basically about the cocoon of finality, which I told you we are going to talk about. At the end of the fight, Acheron and her people failed to save their world. Unfortunately, and they were defeated by Kami. Now this Kami is basically cocoon of finality. It came to the world and it tried to destroy it uh, and then uh, people tried to defeat these harshers, they were able to defeat them, they took their power, they formed uh, swords with them and they were basically using these swords to try to defeat Kami, which is pretty much the exact same as what Flame Chasers did against the, ca the Cocoon of Finality. They fought the harshers, they defeated some of them, they got their powers and their cores, they formed the uh, Divine Keys and then they were, they were using the Divine Keys basically basically against uh, Kami or Cocoon of Finality to try to defeat the Harsher of Finality and save their world. Now unfortunately in both stories these people def were defeated uh, and their, their worlds were destroyed. However, uh, in the Flame Chasers story they were able to save a few people who then rebuilt the civilization in the current era and they were able basically to support the current era with everything they did in the past. Uh, and uh, by that, by doing so, they were able to defeat the Cocoon of Finality or get 
braced by the cocoon of finality and they were basically able to control the power of the harsher finality which means that they saved their world so in Honkai Impact 3rd we had two different uh, alternatives of this story however in, in Honkai Star Rail unfortunately we got only the sad ending where everything and everyone Akron knew was destroyed unfortunately and she was the only one left from her world uh, without anyone of her people and that was one of the reasons why she re rejected this whole world and this life and became basically uh, or followed the path of nihility and that might also because of how powerful she was that might led actually the aeon of finality to give her enough power to become the emanati but this isn't confirmed yet uh, the emanator part isn't confirmed yet so take that with a grain of salt but this could be one of the reasons as to why she became basically uh an emanator and here we had another reference which was basically referencing when Kiana was falling down but then Mei was able to catch her but this time there was no one who ca who caught Acheron and therefore Acheron was alone and unfortunately this was the sad alternative of that uh, situation the last uh, the last reference that we got about Honkai Impact 3rd was basically the fact that they made these swords from the power of the harshers they defeated. They said that these harshers were made into swords which are the swords that we named uh, previously in the video and uh, basically they were using these swords to try to defeat Kami which is basically the cocoon of finality uh, and uh, th this is basically as I said before the exact same reference as what the flame chasers were doing the, the flame chasers also were trying to defeat the harshers take their power and cores and form basically divine keys and use these divine keys against other harshers and against the cocoon of finality so this is another reference where they did actually uh, reference Honkai Impact 3rd with anyways this is pretty much everything for today. These are all of the references that we got basically in the current trailer. I think that once we get her character trailer, we are most likely going to get some more uh, references. And most likely during her story as well, there will be even more and more. So if you don't want to miss any of them, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it. So that you stay notified with all of that. And uh, until next time, see you as always in the next video. この世が梅雨のように儚いとしても